Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a wonderful and amazing day just like me. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make a teleport GUI. So basically, um, yeah, so I guess there isn't anything. Well, yeah, go ahead and like and subscribe, please. I uh, help, just uh, help me support the channel. And so, yeah, that should be it. Um, and also, my Roblox group is down in the description below. If you need me, contact me on Discord. That is also down in the description below. Same thing with um, two Discord servers. One is Among Us, one is mine. So, yeah. So now, so now what we are going to do is we're going to, first of all, just make the GUI real quick. So, in star GUI, insert screen GUI, as you see, I already inserted all of mine. I'm just uh, showing you what to do. Um, just insert screen GUI, then insert a frame into the screen GUI, and then also in the screen GUI, not inside the frame, because I know some people will make this mistake, insert a button into the screen GUI, and then call it toggle, um, and then... Yeah, you can customize it however you want. You can edit the text. You can edit this border color, the background. I'm um, sorry if you hear my cat yelling in the background. There. So, yeah, now inside of this frame, you want um, one text box, one text button, an air text, which will not be visible for right now. Um, but I can go ahead and just make mine visible. Um, this is going to be mine, but don't worry, we'll make this visible, like, if something happens. And then, a, and then, um, you don't have to insert a subtitle, that is completely optional. Same thing with the title. But yeah, so we're going to go ahead and make this toggle button, insert a local script into it. So, then just do Control A, then Backspace. Now what we're going to do is we are going to type in script.parent.mouseButton1click, colon connect, function, yeah. So, um, basically what this happen what this is, is when you do script.parent and then dot mouse button one click, so when they click mouse button one, which is left click, like you do to like, if you're in an FPS game, it's like shooting, or you like click on all this stuff. If you want it to be right click, just make sure that this says mouse button to click. Um, so yeah. Now, what we're, now, another thing of what we are going to do <laughs> is we are also going to put in... Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, my brain's, like, just going bonkers, and then, and then after you do that, do colon connect, and then there should be two parentheses right there, like it was, and then type in function with parentheses there, and then just do enter, yeah, you got it. So, the reason, uh, why we do that is because the function is basically a function that runs whenever this event happens. So, yeah, and it always has to be a function. Anyway, so um, let's let's just go ahead and type in because it's a toggle. We're gonna say if script dot parent dot parent yeah dot frame dot visible equals equals true. So basically, if just go ahead and copy that line because we're gonna use it multiple times. Um, basically, and then we're gonna do then. This is saying that this, so if it equals true, so if it is visible, then uh, just paste in that line and then make true false and make sure that there's only one equals. So basically, if, it, if the frame is visible, then we're going to make it not visible, but say it's not visible, then what we're going to do... It, is we're gonna do enter and then just type in else now we're just gonna make it visible so it's basically a toggle button you can click it as many times as you want so yeah so now when we go into this game this should work yep see how it is working as a toggle button 
So, yeah. Now what we're going to do is um, we're done working with the toggle button. We are now going to work with the... Ah, sorry. We are now going to work with the teleport button. What... Oh, um, actually, before we work with our teleport button, um, in replicated storage, not replicated first, replicated storage, we're going to add in a remote event. So this remote event is going to be whenever someone presses this button. Um, that's what is going to trigger it. So we're going to name this remote event teleport. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it teleport. Now, we're going to insert a local script in this button now. And then, just do control A, or just select all, and then backspace. And then, we are going to type in script.parent.mouseButton1click, colon connect, function. There. <clears throat> so, now... What we're going to do in this is we're going to script our error text and we're going to fire it. So basically, we're going to say if game dot players colon find first child and then in here we're going to type in script dot parent dot parent dot player um the this when I when it says player that's whatever you named your text box, um, yeah. And then we're gonna do dot text. So basically, um, when with your text box, name it player, um, with a capital P. Forgot to mention that, or just change this player to whatever you want to name it. So yeah. Um. All right. So, basically, this is saying that if we can find, um, whatever, we, if we can find game.players, which is, like, all of the players in here, and then if we can find whatever they typed in here, uh, it is case sensitive, so don't forget, then we are going to fire the remote event by saying game.replicatedStorage.teleport colon fire server do not do fire client because um fire client will basically only make it work for the client which is the person that fired it but if you do fire server then it will um make sure that the server can work with it and the reason why we have to enter in a remote event is because local scripts so um i'm not going to actually insert i'm just going to read like what is off of it they only work on the clients. A script that runs on the client, not servers. Local scripts can only run when parented under one of the following. A player's backpack for, like, player tools and everything. A player's character model, which is their character, like, what they run around with in the game. And then a player's player GUI, which all the starter GUI stuff is also going to go into the player's GUI. And then a player's player script. And then number five is the replicate first service. The replicate first is for like getting rid of chat or stuff like that. You can go see my video. Um, there's going to be a card that pops up right now. Um, and that's when we will also be dealing with replicate first. But yeah. So yeah, I was just reading that off. You're not actually answering anything into this local script. Now, um, we are going to be typing in, uh, yeah, fire server. And then now, um, there's an argument here that is called tuple arguments, meaning we can add as many arguments as we want. So, all, the only, um, thing we're going to type in is this, is this line here to where it says scripts.parent.parent.player.text. Um, yeah, just go and paste that. So now, after, um, the third line of code, which is, uh, what we just worked with right here, we're gonna do enter, and then we're gonna type in else, another enter, so basically, if it cannot find, 
um, whatever we typed into the text. Um, so, like, say we typed in my name, official DJ Skyward, but I wasn't inside of the game. If it can find it, it's going to fire this, and then we'll make a script for this remote event as well. And then that's going to be the last thing we're going to do, which is going to be after this script. Um, but else, meaning, like, if it cannot find official DJ Skyward in the server, if you typed in official DJ Skyward in this text box, then what we're going to do is we are going to say script dot parent dot parent dot error dot visible equals true so basically this is going to make the error text true go ahead and copy this line and then now um we're going to wait and then parentheses now whatever is inside this parentheses is going to be how many seconds the um error text is going to be visible um, so I'm just going to do uh, 3.5 seconds, and then after that we're going to type in, we're going to paste the same line, but instead of true, it's going to be false. So basically, um, what this is saying is it's going to make the error text visible, it's going to wait 3.5 seconds, and then it's not going to, then it's going to make the text, the error text invisible. So yeah, now now we're going to make it like actually teleport to the player. So in the server script service, just insert a script, name this whatever you want. And then uh just do control A and then backspace. Now we're going to say game dot replicated storage dot teleport or whatever you named your teleport remote event. And then dot on server event and then colon connect function and then parentheses and enter um oops that was an accident parentheses and enter <laughs> now um whatever's inside here is going to run when this tele when this remote event happens guys i'm sorry if i sound like like i'm not making sense i'm not really a good teacher but yeah <laughs> So whatever is inside of here, um, oh yeah, speaking of which, inside these function, like after these parentheses right here, we're going to type in PLR, which is the player that ran the remote event. We're going to do comma, and then after that comma, we're going to type in name, which is because in our tuple arguments, um, basically the first one is always going to be the player that runs it, and then the second one is going to be your first tuple arguments inside of your local script so like when you if you when you did game dot replicate storage dot teleport colon fire server um this is basically yeah it's kind of hard to explain but whatever is the first one is going to be the second one here and then if it's the second one here then it's going to be third one here <laughs> but yeah um hope hopefully you get that um so yeah so now inside of this, we are going to type plr dot character and then dot humanoid root part dot c frame equals uh yeah game dot players colon find first child and then just type in uh these uh, quotation marks oh uh, not not the quotation marks but inside these parentheses after the find first child we're going to type in name and then uh, in outside of those parentheses we're going to type in dot character dot head so it's going to tell you port you on top of them and then dot c frame so um yeah so this should uh work now yeah so um basically what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to test and we're gonna test with two players on one server then we're just gonna click start 
and then oh that's not good just gotta click that okay so this is the server like just to like view everything but we don't need that okay um, I don't know why that is <laughs> so basically um this thing will always work now you see that this is player one and I got player two on my second monitor uh yeah so I'm gonna I'm just gonna pull up to there so um I'm also gonna move player two there so now we are going to teleport player one to player two. So all you got to do is just click the toggle teleport. We're going to enter in player two. This, um, not player one, player two. Remember that this is case sensitive. And then we're going to click teleport. And then there you go. Let's see. You see that we do teleport to that player. We can go anywhere um, around the map. And then just click teleport. Yeah also work for um this one as well except we'll just have to type in player one but yeah um so let's just go and click clean up just so we'll close out all that extra tabs <laughs> or well extra applications <laughs> so then we can get back to this so yeah um that was it for the video i'm um, sorry that seemed like a long video at least to me um be sure to like and subscribe uh with notifications on so you don't miss an upload from me um yeah, so my Roblox, um, my Roblox group, my two, um, my Discord server, and my Among Us Discord server. It's not technically mine. I am one of the co-owners of it, though. Um, is down in the description below. Uh, yeah. So, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, close the video in three, two, one, now.